Right, you guys, got another video here for you. I've been asked to do a review on Tron and take a look at it, and uh, maybe we can do a malware removal video of it a little bit later on uh, in another video. But let's take a look at it first and see what we uh, think of it and uh, how useful it's going to be to people. Now, what is Tron? Tron is a, a an automated script that you can run on a system that's been infected, and it will then run a, a few stages to remove. Uh, malware from that system and clean out temp files and all that good stuff okay and it's all done automated in an automated form so you can see here when you go to the reddit.com site you'll see that there is uh, a little bit of text up the top here that tells you what Tron is Tron is a script that fights for the user basically automates a bunch of scanning and disinfection and cleaning tools and that's it in a nutshell basically and you can see here it'll have a bunch of stages that says prep temp clean, disinfect, debloat, patch, uh, optimize and manual stuff, i.e. it will be manual scans like combo fix, ADW cleaner and whatnot. And this is all run from a bat file okay, as well so it will start to install and run those scans and some of it's done silently and it will take a fair bit of time to run all these scans and it could take up to you know four five six eight hours or more you know depending on how fast your system is and how infected it is and whatnot okay so the download link here is here you've got a, a numerous different download uh, links here. you can click on this and then you will get this uh, download link here as you can see now this is a pretty hefty download it's close to 600 megabytes and uh, what you've got to remember is if the system is very infected you've got to download this file and it's going to be a pretty hefty file to download so you may need to get another computer to download this so you can then get it onto the system okay uh, if you're having problems with um, internet and stuff like that so that's the, basically the Tron website and what we're going to do is going to go and have a look at Tron itself now I've already got mine downloaded I'm going to unzip uh, this using 7-zip and you can see inside the uh, zip file there's a couple of little files uh, folders in here one's called Tron and one's called integrity verification this is just to uh, verify that you've got the correct version because I'm sure there's going to be people out there that actually put malicious stuff out there just to try to get you to download their version and it's infected so be very careful and check the verification okay to make sure it's a legitimate copy so you can see here inside the inside the uh, Tron folder there's a resources and a Tron.bat which is a batch file which all this stuff's going to run from and there's some instructions here as well as you can see uh, instructions let me just open this up and uh, this is going to give you all the instructions to how to use Tron now you can see here contents use and also command line use and so on okay so read through this if you're not familiar with this sort of stuff probably leave it alone and use the uh, standard method of installing a program and running it okay because this is probably more geared up for more advanced users and also for techies and stuff like that because they want to run stuff in an automated fashion okay and you can see here the the way it works it's going to come through the uh, stage zero which is prep and then also run through these stages and it will tell you what it will basically do here okay so you can have a good read through here and uh, find out what the tool is all about or the script is all about I should say and then now you've got the resources area here you can see we've got stage zero prep and so on this is the area where all the files will be located so your backup files and whatnot so you can see uh, inside here uh, you will see all the backup area which is going to be using erunt which is an old tool but a very useful tool uh, check update and so on uh, log tools uh, McAfee stinger process killer and also our kill and uh, TDSS killer that's in the first section which is the prep area and then you've got your temp uh, clean and go through here bleach bit C cleaner uh, temp file cleanup and a USB uh, cleanup uh, which is going to use them files and then it will move on to the debloat and use that little bat file there and then you're going to go into the disinfect area which is the area where it will use these files which is Kaspersky virus removal tool MBAM which is malware bytes and also it will use uh, 
road killer and Sophos re virus removal, it's going to use those in that sort of automated form. Uh, if you want to do the manual, that's further down. Okay, and then you've got your patch area, which is going to do your um, Adobe and Java, and then it will move on to the optimize, which is your defrag, and then wrap up. It will do the email report, send an email report back to you, which is a really nice touch. And then you've got your manual tools, which is what you're going to be running manually. And you can see these here. You've got your uh, ADW cleaner, uh, combo fix, and all this good stuff. Okay. So I should imagine some of these uh, you wouldn't want to run automated like service repair, just in case you haven't got no services that need repairing. Um, but I would suggest that it would be nice to see ADW cleaner and uh, junkware removal tool and stuff like that in the automated process because these are pretty common and this is what mostly uh, infect machines today so let's pull this all out and uh, pull this onto the desktop here because I'm starting to uh, blabber on about stuff so they will get this on to the desktop so we can see 596 megabytes which is nearly uh, 600 megs we don't need to look at that anymore so we can pull that to one side here and this is your actual Tron folder as you can see so there's all your stages here okay you can go through all these stages which we've just gone through so now let's reboot into uh, safe mobile networking because this is how you're going to have to run Tron and if you try to run it here what's going to happen is it will tell you uh, error you've tried to run it without administration privileges you need to make sure you do that and also if you do run it with administration uh, privileges here it's going to probably tell you that you're not in safe mode as well okay and it will probably recognize that you're not in there so let's just quickly do that then and get into safe mobile networking to do that is pretty straightforward stuff you just reboot the system and keep tapping f8 and you should be able to get into advanced boot options so let's do that right now OK, I've been tapping F8 on the keyboard and now I've entered advanced boot options. It's slightly different for uh, Windows 8 users. You will have to uh, do something slightly different to that because it doesn't always work. And you can always check out my other videos on how to do that. So let's take a look at uh, safe mobile networking here. This is where we want to go into. Okay, so now we're at the desktop of Safe Mobile Networking and we've got our Tron folder and we can go into this now and right click and run this as administrator. That's what we need to do. Now you'll get prompted with this big red uh, disclaimer here and we need to type in I agree in capitals just to say that you agree to their terms and conditions uh, in capitals, I should say, otherwise it won't work. And that's Correct. Now we've done that and now you can see here it's going to give us some information about the stages it's going to go through and it will go through all these stages okay so whether you need to or not it's going to run through them and uh, and that's as simple as that this is what an automated process is and uh, some people like them some people don't and uh, you can see here it's giving you a runtime estimate of seven or nine hours depending on the size of your drive and how many files you've got and and how infected you are and how fast your machine is all this is going to come into play on how long it's going to take okay so it's just a rough est estimate i mean it could take less it could take more and uh but generally you run this and this is what's going to happen so you push enter now and it will start the process so now we're going to start the process it will go through prep uh, stage which is stage zero it will start to launch our kill and then that will kill any malicious processes on the system and then it will run on to the next task and you can see it's going to run and launch TDSS killer next now obviously the good thing with this is you won't have to sit here and watch it or push any buttons you just run it and walk away and get on with another job now if you're an IT tech or something of that nature it's going to be great for you type of guys because it means you can walk away from things and you don't have to sit there and click buttons and, and watch it you know uh, but some people still like the manual approach where you've got more control looking at log files and stuff like that rather than just letting a, a script run so you can see here it's doing its job now it's cleaning all the temp files and it's now bleach using bleach bit and whatnot and then it will go on to the next stage and this is basically the whole process for um, Tron 
and this is what it does. You can see now it's going to go through a load of areas here. Now you can see it's now starting to launch Rogue Killer and uh, it's telling me that it's going to be a slow process and to be patient because it will take a bit of time okay so also it's now going to launch um, malware bytes it hasn't run this scan so it looks like you have to let me see here whether you have to run this you must manually click scan okay so it's not completely automated so you will have to uh, click on scan and this will then run that scan so the whole process is not completely automated you will have to stand there and do the odd uh, scan here and scan there as you can see here there's a little exclamation mark here as well okay so just bear that in mind and then once that's complete uh, you will move on to the next stage so let me just quickly cancel this and click finish and then once that's done it's going to move on to the next stage and that's exactly what um, Tron does is it will start to now look for updates and check in for updates and go through this process and that's going to start to install uh, Sophos as you can see warning fail to open SMS service And uh, I think what I'm going to do here is close this and cancel this, but you get the general idea of what this works like. I just want to show you, and maybe what we'll do in another video if you guys want to see it, let me know in the comments section down below that you want to see me use this in a malware removal sort of uh, type environment, and we'll give it a go. Um, it will take a bit of time to do, but I'll try my best to get that video up really soon for you if you want to see it. If you don't, if you're quite happy with just this, looking at this sort of uh, review, then that will be fine by me. So I'm going to quickly uh, close this off. Now, again, I've closed that script from running. And if you do start to think about running it again, what's going to happen is it will continue where it left off, I, I would have thought. Um, yes, it has. It's started to get back to the road killer again, as you can see here. So some of these have not worked by the looks of it. Um, but generally, you can restart this and it will start back uh, where it left off. So let me just reboot the system back to the desktop. Okay, we're back at the desktop and you can see Tron will automatically start to run and you can see here now the Tron is starting to run and now we're getting uh, Rogue Killer running as well so let me just quickly close that off that didn't run before in safe mode as you can see here so I'm just going to quickly close this off so I suppose what it comes down to is would I use Tron myself personally I would not use it myself I've got my own ways of doing uh, malware removal and stuff I'd like to use uh, log files and look at those and and find locations and go into the registry and remove stuff from there. I don't like an automated process, i.e. Lightron, to run a whole sequence of stuff, the stuff that I might not need to run anyway, and, uh, you know, things act up differently, like uh, you might not have any internet access, or you might not be able to download the file. There's loads of scenarios where malware has stopped you from doing this sort of stuff. So it isn't always foolproof. But it's a great idea, and uh, I love the uh, way that people come up with these ideas. And I think in an ideal world, people would love an automated uh, way of doing the whole thing where you could just walk away and then come back and the machine would be clean. Uh, but that's in reality, that's not going to really happen. As you can see there, some of the ones you still had to push a button and push scan and stuff like that. And then you'd have to look at the log files just to make sure uh, that you're not removing stuff that doesn't want to be removed because if you it's the same thing with TDSS killer if you move stuff uh, in a wrong way uh, it can mess up the machine and make it non-bootable so you've got to be a bit careful uh, when you're doing this sort of stuff
anyway i'm starting to ramble so i'm going to wrap this one up i hope you enjoyed the uh, review we'll take a look at uh, tron again and maybe give it a go with some malware on the system let me know in the comment section below my name is brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you enjoy these videos guys then hit the like button and also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date when i upload new videos and if you've got any problems with your computers or anything like that or any requests you can always head over to my forum okay and uh, join in the fun over there and i shall see you again in the next video so thanks again. Bye for now.